Mark Marconis Meyer, we got to have a talk. See, brother man needs this Legacy United Deluxe Squeeze Play. I just need Squeeze Play. I, 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 I got to have Squeeze Play. I mean, I know who he is. Uh, Master Force. Yes, in Master Force, his name is Cancer. But it's in America, he's Squeeze Play. Um, looking at the four pack, this is the one I want. And I ain't gonna lie, brother man, really, really want as much as I can Matt, get to uh, Matt, uh, many of the Japanese Transformers just because of the fact that it's very hard to get them, you know, in the G1. It, it, you know, it, just, it was just hard. But when they make these characters like this and you know that they've been watching Matt's The Force, and basically he says this in his little bio that he talks about the figure. Yeah. And then of course there's Fangry, which I repainted the head to match how he looks on Master Force. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna look at this. So this is basically a retool of Mind Wipe. Mind Wipe, who turns into the bat. And they did they did this from Mind Wipe. You would think they would use the grotesque mode because that one's kind of been used pretty much to make other figures, but including Fangry is for one. But yeah, this right here, solid. And the colors very 1988, 89. If you remember that era and, you know, you, their skull grin, which is also a uh, pretender. And uh, yeah, he, he was in the show too. And then, of course, there's Minerva, even though she's not a headmaster. Come on, guys, man. Why old boy did her like that? But still, Mark, you got some issues, man. <laughs> so, but, I mean, it did happen in the show. I mean, pretty much, yeah. They, they, they kind of beat up on the Headmaster Juniors. But, man, you ain't had to take it this far, man. He's throwing, throwing poor Minerva. What are you going to throw at, man? Come on, now. And then, of course, here he is next to Fangry. If you get Fangry, you're going to have to paint the head silver and the eyes, the face silver and the eyes red. And, and you have the correct colors. So yeah, this one is a definite gimme, and I see why they put this as a behind the scenes, uh, you know, when he does his photographs and everything like that. It's, it, it's basically the star of the set, in my opinion. I know others want the cliff jumper because, you know, the connotations to the rock and everything like that, because yes, rock played cliff jumper in Transformers Prime, and he got killed. And so they're not doing like a demon or what is it, like zombie version. So yeah, yeah, I, I could kind of see me getting the pack. Okay, there's two I want. But other than that, though, I definitely want this guy because I, I, I get as much of Japanese characters in my collection as I can. So what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. We've seen pictures of the four pack. We've seen what's coming out of this. Do you still want this guy or do you still want anything else? Or do you don't want it at all? Let me know. Of course, this is Super Robot Ed, bringing more news and reviews until then. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.